It's Bruce, author of Freedom's Quest on Amazon. And uh, Woodpecker, my uh, sci-fi story on Kindle Vela. And so this is part of my continuing Kennedy Space Center Lost History Tour. I'm standing on NASA Causeway. I'm enjoying the sun coming up. And uh, the Causeway connects Space Force Base and uh, Kennedy Space Center. So the um, some of the lost history. You know, hey, I'm not going to... First of all, I'm not going to talk about that I'm standing on the northern edge of the no motor zone, which is uh, best fishing on the east coast. <laughs> so, no, I was going to focus on... No, I'm not going to focus on that bomb, that bombing ring over there that's World War II bombing target. Or the channel over here from the space shuttle where they, uh, they space shuttle days. I don't know if anyone remembers that when they used to bring in the, uh, solid rocket boosters. Now I was going to focus on the fact that there was a time when this lagoon was only a small stream and that would have been, that's some lost history. So there was a time in the ice age when the Indian river, Mosquito Lagoon and the Banana River behind me existed only as tiny little winding streams. Uh, and the beach was 35 miles to the east of here. The, the neat thing is, you can go on Google Maps or you can use the old uh, nautical charts and you can see underwater these ancient ancient winding streams holy cow and what's also pretty cool is the um you know the windover farms burial pond the, the people used to live along these streams so the, and also these streams are the major focus of um of ice age fauna and uh and and native american spear points from from the ice age and the uh following following archaic period so let's see um Turnbill Creek, Sykes Creek, Crane Creek, uh, Dummit Cove. Uh, they're all they're all a focus of these of fossils, basically. So the really the, the cool lost history is so the ice age, as the ice age ended and the water was released and the, and the Atlantic Ocean began filling up. Uh, these lagoons and their little hidden creeks underwater creeks began to change. You can, you can still see the outer edges of these, um, I call them ghost streams, as they began to change in shape. And finally about a little over 5,000 years ago, the ocean, re ocean reached its current level and crested over the, the dune line and filled up these uh, lagoons what we have standing behind me. And that's also, it's interesting, oh, no seams. It's about the same time that um, Native Americans started taking advantage of um, saltwater shellfish, oysters and clams, which, uh, and the middens are pretty easy to date. So the lost history is, there was a, de there was a time when this river behind me didn't exist. So I'm um, trying to make up my mind whether I'm gonna go fishing or go to work. And I don't know yet. The goons, the goons off of calm. Hey, so you get a chance, check out my uh, book on Amazon. Um, just type in Bruce Reba, R-Y-B-A, for some um, pretty good um, Florida history. And uh, actually, in the in Freedom's Quest, there's an early chapter of a Native American uh, watching this lagoon fill up behind him. And, uh, you know, it's called climate change, right? <laughs> Hey, so uh, Bruce out.